uh, in the last class, we were talking about the greenhouse effect. And uh, it is called the greenhouse because the atmosphere acts like the greenhouse. It, uh, it protects, yes, it protects the air from uh, the harmful rays or the harmful, uh, uh, harmful ultraviolet radiation and infrared radiation, but also the gases, gases of the atmosphere like uh, carbon dioxide and methane gas, they capture, they capture the gases, and for this reason they keep the air with uh, acceptable temperature. Okay, so again, air's atmosphere plays air's atmosphere plays a similar role, similar similar role to what to the greenhouse. Sunlight is, sunlight, sunlight is absorbed and transformed into heat within the atmosphere and in the materials at air surface such as rock and water. Okay, so part of the sunlight is absorbed by the atmosphere and it transformed into heat. The surface of the air, the surface of air re-radiates, re-radiates all of that energy and air's total energy remains in the imbalance over time. You have to know that according to the law of conservation of energy, according to the law of conservation of energy, the air's total energy remains balanced over time. But if there is no balance, if the balance is disturbed, what will happen? Air would continually heat up and tear into molten rock. Okay. Gases in the atmosphere, and these gases, by the way, are called greenhouse gases. Gases in the atmosphere, trap. What is the meaning of trap? Like catch or absorb some of the heat near, near Earth's surface. These gases include carbon dioxide and methane, while some heat escapes into space. This greenhouse effect is shown in figure four. And please, to understand all of this, look at this figure. We want to solve this figure with together to understand the greenhouse effect. Fill in the boxes, fill in the boxes in the diagram to describe how the atmosphere, air surface, sunlight, and the space interact again. Fill in the boxes, these boxes, to show what, or to, to describe how the atmosphere, air surface, sunlight, and the space interact. Five. Look here. Look at this arrow. Okay. Talao, look at this picture. Look at the first arrow. What do you think? What does this arrow represent? Shura Iko. Ashabab. Yeah. Which one? What does this um, arrow represent? The light that comes from the sun exactly. and how it is reflected. This is the sunlight reaches air. Sunlight reaches air. This is, by the way, all the, at the beginning, I mean, the all of sunlight that reaches air. You have to distinguish. But now notice that it does not enter the atmosphere. Yani bad time. Time. What does the second arrow? this one represent? Please, no one answer without permission. Look, this Me is sunlight. Look, this is sunlight, reaches air. Type, what is this? Can I answer? Yes, sir. 
استنى يلا نشوف مين اللي بده يجاوب خلينا اشوف عمرو في عندنا طيب عمرو تفضل The energy reflected or the sunlight reflected طيب اوكي بات وير reflected to what to space to space some heat here استنى شوي wait a minute سامعيني؟ اوكي سم هيت اه يا استاذ سامعينا لوك ات ذيس ارو سم هيت اسكيبس سم هيت اسكيبس تو سبيس طيب سم هيت اسكيبس تو سبيس وات اباوت ذيس ارو لوك كيرفولي ات ذا بيكتشر اند يو كان لوك Me, can I answer? Yeah, on the screen. Is it like reflected to like uh, go around Earth? Again. It's reflected to go around Earth, like to. Thank you, Anna. And absorbed by what? It is some radiated heat. Absorbed by water. By what? The atmosphere. Absorbed in the atmosphere. By gases in the atmosphere. Thank you, Nisbi. Some, some radiated, some radiated heat is absorbed. Okay, is absorbed by gases in the atmosphere. These gases are called the greenhouse gases, like carbon dioxide and methane. Some radiated heat. Is absorbed by gases in the atmosphere. Shabab Fahmin? Yes. What does the last arrow represent? This one here. Me. Can I answer? Uh, the light that is absorbed by the earth. Good. So air surface is heated because. Uh, Earth, Earth's surface is heated because it absorbs some of the heat. Earth's surface is heated. Yani this, I have a picture of diagram. It's very important. Uh, it shows how the sun, Earth, space, and atmosphere interact. Okay. Uh, so sunlight reaches air here, sunlight reaches air, some of the heat escapes to space, some of it is, uh, some of the radiated heat is absorbed by gases in the atmosphere like carbon dioxide and uh, methane or greenhouse gases. And some, of course, some of sun energy reaches the air surface. Uh, for this reason, air surface is heated. Okay, fine. Uh, mean little amel meeting. When the bucket of the lab, she bought this alcohol, grief, feet, be a bad pill, hassle, tanya. I feel good hassle. I أستاذ <تصفيق> 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 Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Or yes, you can. Mm. Uh, yes, you can. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, so, overall, Earth's atmosphere keeps our planet. يعني, this is a very important thing. You have to know that Earth's atmosphere, the atmosphere, our atmosphere keeps our planet at a temperature 
that is adequate or acceptable to support life. Not too much cold and not too much hot. In general, the our atmosphere, the Earth's atmosphere keeps us or keeps our planet at a temperature adequate. Adequate means enough or good or suitable to support life. Organisms, living things, plants, animals, humans are adapted. Adapted means adaptation. Adapted, yani, do you know what is the meaning of adapted? Oh, yes, yani, is fit to an environment. Yes, for example, the polar bear is adapted to live in cold areas because it has a thick fur. This is called physical adaptation. It is adapted to live in, in uh, very, very cold temperatures. On the other hand, animals that live in the desert do not have a thick fur. Do you know why? Because they need to release heat. They don't need heat because it's already hot in the desert. This is also adaptation. Another example of adaptation, uh, the lion, for example, the, or animal predators, predators like animals, uh, like lions, have what? Sharp teeth. Do you know why they have a sharp teeth? Uh, to eat meat. Yes, to cut. Or animals, or other animals. To kill their prey. This is an example of adaptation. Organisms in, on Earth are adapted to specific ranges of temperatures. As I told you, some animals or some organisms are adapted to live in very cold areas, uh, and other animals are adapted to live in hot areas. Some organisms are adapted to live, for example, in, uh, uh, in water. Some animals or some organisms are adapted to live in land and so on. So in general, organisms are adapted to live or to specific ranges of temperatures. Fine. Surface features such as sea level. Sea level is very important and the amount of a trapped ice have been relatively constant for thousands of years. Look, these things are very important for life. The amount of ice in the glaciers or the, in the ice caps or in the North Pole and the South Pole and also sea level. These things are very important. Suppose these things change or disturbed. This is what is happening now because of the climate change. However, changes to the composition of the atmosphere or changes to the climate, those gases that absorb the infrared energy radiated from air surface can result in changes in the temperature. Look, increasing or the increase in the levels of carbon dioxide and methane gas, these two greenhouse gases, the increase of the levels or increase the concentration of these gases make a disturbance to the air system. These gases, as you know, are good because they trap heat, but if their levels increases because of the human activities, this will cause a change to the air's temperature so the temperature of the earth will increase. What will happen to the ice? It will start to melt. When ice melts, what will happen to the sea level? It will increase and this may cause flooding. Most scientists who study the atmosphere and the climate think that humans have been enhancing the greenhouse effect by increasing the amount of what? Carbon dioxide and methane in the atmosphere. I want to tell you something about carbon dioxide. As I told you, carbon dioxide is found in the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide and methane, methane gas, these are two gases, carbon dioxide and methane are found in the atmosphere. Okay.
نيتشر دي يعني اوكي بات ان فيري سمول اماونتس اوكي their levels are less than one person very less than one. human activities over long period of time okay human activity activities increased the levels of these gases okay so what is the result these gases or greenhouse gases well, like carbon dioxide and methane, they can trap heat, as you know. Uh, uh, please. I'm sorry. Right. Human activities increased the levels of these gases. These gases, as you know, they trap heat. When there are a lot of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, what will happen? the atmosphere will absorb more heat or trap more heat. So finally, the, what is the result? Earth's temperature will- Earth's temperature will be high. Will be higher, yes, will increase, which is very bad. It has many bad effects or impacts like uh, the ice in the North Pole and the South Pole will start to melt. This may cause sea level to increase and or sea level will rise and cause a flooding. Okay. Uh, what do you mean by human activities? Burning fossil fuels. Yani as you as you know, burning fossil fuels from cars, factories, and so on. These fossil fuels like gasoline petroleum, coal, they release carbon dioxide. Understood? Burning fossil fuels, especially, this is the most important thing. Burning fossil fuels increase the levels of these gases like carbon dioxide because this, when we burn fossil fuel, burning, for example, burning gasoline, it's a chemical change or a chemical reaction. It releases, in the products, it releases carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide goes to the atmosphere. Okay? Is it clear? Yes, it is clear. So, uh, most scientists who study atmosphere and the climate think that the humans have been enhancing the greenhouse effect by increasing the amounts of carbon dioxide and methane in the atmosphere, these two gases. This has caused an increase in what? In the average temperature of air. Have what exactly the greenhouse effect? This, yani, this sentence can the more carbon dioxide, higher temperatures. Yes, greenhouse effect means that the temperature of air or the average temperature of air increased. طب أستاذ ده أحكي لك شغلة إيش دخل إيش دخل يعني الجرينهاوس بالأشياء هاي. الجرينهاوس كان هو. مين بيقدر يجاوب لي؟ أنا بدي أحكي لك الدحل. الجرينهاوس يا ليف ما له علاقة بس هي صارت زي الجرينهاوس. عشان هيك سموها الجرين هاوس عشان لو انت بالجرين هاوس اف يو جو انسايد ذا جرين هاوس ات از وور اور وورم فيري وور واي بيكوز ذا جلاس اوف ذا جرين هاوس ابزورب هيت اور تراب هيت ذا سيم ثينج فور جرين هاوس جازز ان ذا اتموسفير تراب هيت اند كوز ذا اير تو بيكم لايك ا جرين هاوس فهمت كيف؟ يعني هاي زي تشبيه. اه فهمت كيف؟ So this has caused an increase in the average temperature of earth. Like what happening؟ يعني the greenhouse effect means the meaning of a greenhouse effect that the air or air becomes warmer 
because of the increase in the greenhouse gases. What are greenhouse gases? Carbon dioxide and methane gas. The, the increase, the increase in the levels of these two gases caused the air to become warmer or increase the average temperature of air. This, this is called the greenhouse effect. It is like what is happening in the greenhouse. Right. So this is the, this has caused an increase in the average temperature of air. This is the greenhouse effect, which in turn causes causing changes to sea level. When the temperature increases, of course, ice, this will cause melting of ice. This ice, a huge or a huge amounts of ice, when huge amounts of ice in the Arctic and, and, and Antarctic melt, they will change to liquid water. This liquid water will go to the oceans and this will increase the sea level. So which in turn is causing changes to sea level and melting ice in polar regions and the glacier. Okay, get it? Yes. Bye. Let's go to the to this exercise math toolbox. Look, uh, what are the scales of temperature? Who can tell me about the scales of temperature? What do we use here in Georgia? Fahrenheit and Celsius. Yes, there Celsius. are two, two scales of temperatures to represent Fahrenheit, degrees Fahrenheit, and degrees. Celsius. By the way, degrees Fahrenheit is used mainly in some countries like United States. Most countries in the world use degrees Celsius. Five. Is there another scale? Yes. What is it? متذكر إشي له علاقة بالسنتس أو إشي زي هيك. ماشي. مين بتذكر شباب؟ is there another scale? Kelvin. Kelvin. Who is talking? I said it and I said it. Nisreen, what is it? Kelvin. Kelvin. Yes. Kelvin, yes. It's called Kelvin. It is used by scientists in the laboratory. Right. Now, if you know the temperature in Fahrenheit, can you change it to Celsius? Yes, by using this equation. Temperature in degrees Celsius is equal to temperatures in Fahrenheit minus 32, and then multiply the number with 5 over 9. Let's خليني أحل لكم أول مثال. نعمل أول واحد. Look here, please. Uh, what is the first temperature? يلا نقلوني يا شو الرقم الأول؟ fifty two. fifty two. wait a minute please. fifty two. look at the formula again. I solved it. It's one hundred over nine, but uh, I think it's eleven. Or Temperatures. Temperatures in degrees Celsius is equal to temperature in Fahrenheit. Okay, minus what? Thirty-two. Then multiply it with what? Five. This fraction. Five. What is the first temperature? Fifty-two. Sa? Yeah. Minus 32, then multiply it by 5 over 9. Five. 30, 52 minus 32 equals what? 20. Okay, then 
5 over 9 قديش تطلع؟ 1.11.11 طلع 100 over 10 which is equal 11 11.11 استنى شوي قديش يطلع 11.1.1.11.111 اوكي سو ذا ذا جواب يس Here it is 11.1 degrees Celsius. 11. So do you know what is the, what is the meaning of this? That 52 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 11.1 degrees Celsius. Time. Do you remember the freezing point of water? Uh, it's uh, zero, right? Zero degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit. In Fahrenheit, water freezes at? 32. Five. 32 degrees Fahrenheit. To change it, let's use the formula. Temperature in Fahrenheit minus what? 32 multiplied by what? Anything times zero equals zero. Yes, anything. 32 minus 32 is zero. Anything times zero is zero. Zero is zero. So 32 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to zero degrees Celsius. Maybe we can solve the number two. Hey, this one. Who can change this? 56 degrees Fahrenheit. Two degrees. Me, me. Can I, can I solve it? Can I solve it? Five. Yeah, let's solve it. Uh, okay, uh, we will subtract uh, 52, uh, 56, 56. Uh, with 32, yes, and it will be um, 24. 24, 24 times over 5. Okay, 56 minus 32 is equal to 24. Yes, yes, 24 times 5 over 10, over 9, over 9. Sorry, five. Uh, voilà. 24 multiplied by 5 is equal to 120 over 9 over 9 it's 13.3 13.3 13 can i solve the next one yeah but okay. let me put it on the table this is the second or the here 13.3 that's right thank you so 56 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 13.3. Yeah. Uh, the third one, Ms. Reen. Uh, first, we subtract 60 minus 32, which Excellent. equals 28. And then times 5 over 9, it equals 15.5. That's why. OK, thank you, Ms. Reen. Uh, 60 minus 32, 28. Yeah. OK. Five. Then it, uh, multiply twenty eight times equals fifteen point five. One hundred forty. I think that's right. Yeah. Can I solve the next one? Ah, uh, get us to the last one. The last Fifteen point five. Oh, fifteen point six. Then, uh, if you want to round it, fifteen. Uh, fifteen point five six. Send the link. 15 here, 0.555. No, exactly. Around the Google. Yeah. Fine. Thank you. Can I show the next one? Yeah, let's see. 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 Let's Wow, I think that's it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 I'
for example, uh, seven over two. شو بتطلع؟ uh, five. Mm-hmm. three. يعني you can write One it back in two. ways. Okay, or I can write it like this. يعني if I want divide seven over two, three. Uh, multiply by two six. Okay, by it then I. That's the uh, four as if it's three four. It's like this. Yeah, if I mean three four is three seven over two, you can write it like this, like this. Sir Yusuf. Wait, late or. Sir Yusuf, here it's a four is three. Let's go. Two times three plus one. Ah, so I, I forgot you must add uh, all of them. Uh, I forgot. Yeah. Sorry. Zaid, think. لا لا. Don't worry. Zaid. Fifty-five minus thirty-two. Thank you. Aywa. Is twenty-three times five. Times five over nine. Get this to clock. Fifty-five minus thirty-two. Twelve point seven. Ah, twelve exactly. So the final answer is twelve point seven. Thank you. Twelve point seven. راح أبعث لكم الأنسر. طب الآخر واحدة. أنا. يلا تفضل. مين كان يانسر؟ طيب الرهيبة يلا. Okay. Fifty minus thirty-two. Ah, equal to this. Uh, equals 18 times times 5 over 9 okay um 90 just like 90 over 9 so yes and then um Hello. uh it will be 10 10 yes this is the fit This is the only one without fractions. Okay, that's the question. Let me ask him. And, for example, when you see they have fractions, but I think you know it. Nine. Do you know this? Ah, uh, you just uh, cancel something. Yes. The things. Yes. وطبعا كمان الطريقه اللي عملتها طيبه صحيحه كمان. فيو ملتبلاي 18 تايمز 5 which is equal 90 ثانك يو فيري ماتش. طيب ذيس از طب كان وي تشينج؟ از ذير ا فورمولا؟ دو يو اكسبكت ذات ذير از ا فورمولا؟ يس ذير از ا فورمولا تو تشينج سيلسيس فروم فورمولا. يعني كان وي كونفيرت كان وي كونفيرت فروم سيلسيس تو فارنهايت؟ Yes, yes, of we course. Can. This is the formula. This is the formula. Temperatures. Temperatures in Fahrenheit. Okay. Is equal. If you are given temperatures in Celsius, can we convert? He said he three times nine. Divided five plus thirty-two. HLA again. C times nine divided. Oh, yani C times nine over five. Yes. Plus thirty-two. Plus thirty-two. Thank you. This is the opposite. Type a normal example. مثلاً مثلاً example. If the temperature is zero degrees Celsius, I want to change it to Fahrenheit. What is the temperature? It is zero. Multiply by nine over five plus thirty-two. Now it is anything multiplied by zero is zero. Zero plus thirty-two is equal to thirty-two degrees Fahrenheit. So zero degrees Celsius is equal to thirty-two degrees Fahrenheit. Another example: What is the boiling point of water in Celsius? Uh, zero, no? boiling, oh, okay, 100. 100. 
100 zero degree Celsius. I want to change it to Fahrenheit. So temperature in Celsius multiply by nine over five. Then I add what? 32 by 100, look. 20 times 9, which is 180. 180. 180. Plus 32. 212. 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So 100 degrees Celsius is equal to 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Get it? Yes. خلاص ضل عنا less than one minute. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. See you in Germany.